Are you ready? Are you ready? Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about perfumes that cut through the cold. But before I start this video, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is. Now, what inspired this video is because it's been really cold here in London. It's been freezing. I have a little bit of a cold, but it hasn't gotten too bad just yet. Fingers crossed it doesn't get worse than this. I was wearing different perfumes that just wasn't smelling. Literally, I would spray these perfumes on. I would go outside, get in my car, and I can't smell the perfumes anymore. And I'm just wondering, why? What's happening? I asked my daughter. She has the same experience. And that just made me think to myself, I need perfumes that will literally cut through the cold perfumes that I will smell all day long. I don't want to have to take a decant with me. I want that to be optional, not a necessity. So I came up with five perfumes that have been doing just that for me. These are not in any particular order. Some of them you may have heard of, some of them not. And I'm going to start with Grand Soir by MFK. I love this perfume. This came out back in 2016 and is described as an ambery perfume. Now, that's all you get in this perfume. You get a lot of amber, you get vanilla, you get benzoin, and you get a little bit of lavender, which was a little bit surprising to me because I don't like lavender, guys. Like, lavender for me is a no. However, it's done really well in this. It's very quiet, almost non existent to my nose. But this perfume is definitely a smoky, like slightly smoky, ambery, spicy perfume. You get a lot of the amber, a lot of the vanilla. This for me is a slightly, slightly masculine perfume. Just a little bit. I feel like a man and a woman can wear it easy. Although it's giving a little bit of a masculine energy, I kind of like that. I kind of like that because on my skin, it's not smelling too masculine. It's actually feminine on my skin. The more I wear this perfume, the more I love it. It's one of the best from the MFK line. And oh, I highly recommend it. This is not a huge projector at all. This does not hit people in the face, but you will smell yourself for the whole day. And that's what I wanted. I wanted to smell myself for the whole day. It's definitely a compliment magnet. I absolutely love it so that is grand soir by mfk next is cairo by penhaligans this one is described as an amber floral and it came out i want to say 2019 it has rose saffron vanilla um cedar wood it's got a lot of wood in this perfume it's quite spicy it has a little bit of that oody vibe going on it does have a tiny middle eastern vibe but i love it nevertheless actually this is gonna be my scent of the day oh my gosh this perfume is going to last okay that was an overspray see i didn't need to spray that much of this perfume a little goes a long way if you like a smoky spicy a tiny 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 little bit sweet you are going to love this if saffron is one of your favorite notes in a perfume you need to get your nose on this perfume if you like vanilla and if you like a oody smelling perfume you would love this this is kind of like a dry wood it's very intoxicating this one would definitely lead the way before you enter so if that's what you are looking for to cut through the cold Believe me, you have to get your nose on this perfume. I absolutely adore Penhaligons as a brand. I feel like they just do such regal, um, high quality, super unique perfumes. You're not going to really get a perfume like this on the market of the same quality, in my opinion. Because there's a lot of those types, saffron, um, spicy, um super strong perfume but they're not like this they tend to have this sharpness that just gives them that cheapness that i personally don't like but cairo is smooth with it it's strong but it's definitely smooth so this is once again cairo by pen halligans the next perfume is mallow by sora dora 
you guys can see from this dent i have been absolutely loving this perfume now this came out in 2023 and it's described as a fruity floral but for me it's giving me a fruity powdery very sweet kind of perfume it reminds me of my beloved insolence by Guerlain. let me show you it reminds me of insolence because this is like a violetty super super sweet and fruity perfume and it also has a vibe of rose sherry by Guerlain. there's something super different about mallow something so expensive so like powdery i love a powdery perfume this is the sweetest perfume on this list i think it's absolutely phenomenal i feel like it's literally impossible to dislike this perfume unless you don't like sweet perfumes which each to their own but me i love sweet perfumes i think they just lift my mood they make me feel good and i have a 10 percent discount code on this perfume and a lot of the soradora perfumes you can get with my code abby10 which i'll leave right there and i also leave every single thing in my description box below um malo is i mean i remember the day that i wore it to work i got a lot of compliments so people around me could smell this perfume it's not obnoxious in any way it smells really strong but it's definitely one that people will just love how it smells you will love how you smell with this perfume i will also say this can be worn all year round i think it's such an amazing one by the brand it has to be so far my number one perfume by sora dora i honestly would tell you guys to get your nose on it if you can so that is malo by sora dora so the next perfume is side effect by initio this came out in 2016 and is described as an ambery fragrance now this is more than an ambery fragrance to me this is ambery this is um boozy it's got rum in the opening it also has some tobacco cinnamon um saffron as well it's a very boozy cinnamony vanilla kind of scent it is so good my favorite from the whole initial line i think their perfumes are so amazing i also love oud for greatness but there's something about side effect that is giving me a little bit of a feminine energy as opposed to oud for greatness oud for greatness to me i wear it sometimes but it's such a masculine leaning perfume on my skin that i feel like my husband can just wear that it suits him perfectly for me it has to be like when i'm in the absolute mood to wear a masculine linen perfume which is not all the time but side effect i wear it a lot if you guys could see the dent in this i must be like halfway i have been wearing this to work this for me before was kind of like a going out scent like a party scent i love the perfume i think it's not blind by safe because that rum in here is really rumming like you do get that very booziness, especially in the opening. This perfume does not kind of ease you in. It attacks your nose. <laughs> you will smell this all over your clothes all day. No need to take a decant with you because this is so long lasting. It's slightly sweet, but it's like a boozy sweet kind of perfume. If you like Angel Share, you would love this. You can also layer them together. They smell incredible and super, super like beast mode together but i would not wear this together to work i think that that would just be a little bit of a stretch but this on its own is absolutely beautiful so that is side effect by initio and last but not least is milk plus by commodity now this came out in 2021 and it's described as an amber woody perfume and that's exactly what this is it's also quite lactonic but it's very smoky especially in the opening but it smells incredible you get that marshmallow that really brings out the softness and the smoothness in this perfume you can get yourself the milk expressive which is less smoky but for me it didn't quite cut through the cold it's more of a cozy scent in my opinion so, yeah, so this is what the milk expressive looks like and this is milk plus you can layer them together they smell incredible but this on its own is honestly really 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 powerful if you like a lactonic um, perfume 
not like blanche bear because we all know that blanche bear for me is a <laughs> is a perfume i don't enjoy um so it is lactonic but it's not too much in this perfume you get more of the ambery the smokiness a lot of vanilla and a lot of marshmallow and again it is super long lasting it doesn't project you get maybe about arm's length i want to say with this perfume it doesn't um lead the way before you enter but people will smell you but it just gotta be around just around here to smell you but it's very long lasting and it smells amazing so that is milk plus by commodity so my lovelies that is it for this video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye